Okay, this is me. Just got my hair did. How do I look? How do I look? Pretty okay? Pretty okay? Mm -hmm. This is how long it is. Okay, here's the mirror. Okay, let me try and okay coordinate this so the mirror can show the length. There we go. Oh. Try to move so the mirror can. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do this. Oh, whatever. It's down here. <laughs> I guess I can show it like this. Let me see. Okay, this is how long it goes. I don't know why I was making it so difficult showing the mirror. But yeah, that's how long it goes. And yeah. Oh, this thing. Okay. So, I am not having an easy time uploading my videos. So, yeah. I just need to pick a different app. That's all I need to do. So, I'm going to keep trying. But I definitely wanted to record this since I just got my hair dig dog. Ooh. So, I got to get... I gotta continue finding an app to, uh, you know, video edit stuff, edit videos, and then I gotta find a new camera as well. Oh my goodness, box opening time! Hey, so in my mailbox, there were some packages. Oh, here they are. I wanna open them. Uh oh. Oh, I said uh oh because my thing just stopped. Alright, this is like a lot of packages, okay, I may have to take cheap trips. Alright, I was recording my phone, but uh, it's just easier to do it on the camp court right now, that's all I'm going to say. Like, I don't have enough space in my phone right now. So hopefully I can just upload this video right away, since I'm not going to break it up and chop it up or anything. Just wham bam, thank you ma'am, just record, upload. So hopefully I can upload it. It's not, it's all good though. Okay. Let me get my little box opening knife. I don't know what to call it. I'll call it a box opening knife. <laughs> oh, so let me turn on the light. So I just came from Panera Bread. So, someone asked if I wanted to get something to eat. I was like, sure, whatever. So, I just got some good something to eat. So, of course, you know, I literally just walked around in a circle because I was trying to figure, find where to put my thing like that. Oh, but this lighting is terrible. Let's see. Is this lighting better? This lighting. Let me just keep circling until I find the best. Spot. Let's see. Uh, I think this is the best spot. Okay, so I'm gonna have to let this. Boom! All right. I'll get close. Oh, this lighting here is terrible. So I'm gonna have to see. Okay, let me circle around again. Let's see which angle is the lighting. Oh. Okay, right. Uh, I guess here, where I started from. This lighting in my apartment is literally just so bad. It's like the lighting is bad. It's like low. Well, I wouldn't say low, low, but like. Oh, something else. I can put on the flash. Let's see. There we go. Oh, better. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm like, before I just look like blackface. You couldn't even see me. Okay, so I got Senegalese twists. So, and it's all burgundy. So, I really like it. Using the camera as a mirror is bad, like, because it's opposite. So, but, woo. Anyway, let me open up the first thing. Let's see what this is, shall we? Oh, 
Oh, right. This is tongue cleaner. Wow, look how damaged this thing is. This box just came so damaged. Like, this is how it came. Opened and everything. The good thing each of the individual tongue cleaners are wrapped, so. And someone told me, it was like, oh yeah, the, um, you know, the UPS or USPS or FedEx or whatever, the delivery guys here in Memphis, they just be throwing boxes. I was like, I believe it, because everything I get here is damaged. Um, this is my tongue scraper. I'm really excited to use that. I do have another one, but I think this one might be a little better. I think. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, right, we'll see. There's this one other type that I want to buy. Why am I exploring different kinds of scrapers? Okay, so that's it. So that's trash. Alright, the next thing is. Oh, I think these are my checks. So what had happened was. I got checks from my bank and I did not realize that the checks came because I hadn't opened some packages and I called them and was like, you guys, you know, it's been, you know, the 14 business days or whatever and I haven't gotten them so they sent me a new pack. So I kind of got two sets, excuse me, two sets of checks for the price of one. My bad. It was not intentional. So this lets me know sometimes you can just call places and be like, uh uh, I didn't receive it. And then they'll just send you another one. So it's like you paid for. Like, so if you think something is overpriced, maybe it should be half of the price. Then just order it and then just say you didn't get it. And then they'll just send you another one. Anyway, I shouldn't be encouraging bad behaviors for my future kids and stuff. Ah! Anyway, so next thing is this thingy here. Let's see. Am I supposed to like record myself opening it? <laughs> like a Christmas present? <gasps> My color sheet nails. Let me open this. So. Ooh la la. These are my color sheet nails. It's really fancy. Yeah. So I have another pair. Oh wow, is this one? Mm, I don't think I just ordered one. Something must have happened. I'm going to check my Color Street account and see what's up. Or maybe the other ones are coming later, but why would they deliver them at different times? That doesn't make any sense. Oh wait, this is Color Street. I guess it's possible that I ordered one. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Because then I think I ordered the rest from Amazon. But then I didn't think I ordered any from Color Street. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ordered it from Amazon, but it's Color Street. So Amazon can come at different times. Yeah, that's what happened. No, but I was like, no, whenever I order from, you know, like the store's website, I never just order one. So. Or not just the store's website, whenever I buy mail trips in general, I usually never just order one. And I did not, but since it's Amazon, they're coming at different times. So, this last package, you see VS, Pink, Victoria's Secret, just my undies! So, they were having a really good sale. It was, hmm, what was it, 10 for... $38. Yes. So that means one pair equals $3.80. And I usually wait for Victoria's Secret to have a sale of at least the seven for $28 because that used to be, I think, like the best sale that they ever had. They would sometimes say, oh, five for $30, but it's like, that's $6 a pair. Seven for twenty-eight dollars is four dollars a pair. So I'm gonna wait till y'all do that. And they would like hardly ever do it. But now they even do ten for thirty-eight dollars. So that's three dollars and eighty cents a pair. So that's a little better than the four dollars a pair. So I have to do it. I have to get it. 
and I got a lot of pairs. So I'm not going to show each pair, of course, <laughs> of course not. Okay, I just want to just make sure. Look at all this. Hello Fresh. Oh, nice. This came in the packaging. Okay, I just wanted to count to make sure I had all the pairs that I ordered and I do. Oh wow. And I have a free delivery thing. DoorDash. Oh I'ma use it. Oh I'm oh I'ma use it. And it's 50% off of my meal. What? What? Is there an expiration date? Oh, it expires January 2024. And I have to have an order greater than 15 bucks. Maximum discount is 10 bucks. So basically, I should just order something that's about 20 bucks. I can do that. Oh, I, oh, I can do that. Yeah, so that concludes. Oh, I have this one letter. Fresh focus. I don't know. What's this? Oh, shoot. Why did I just show my... Did I just show my address? I hope, I hope no one's able to read that. More nail wraps. It says thank you for your order. Oh yeah, I ordered nails from a different place. That's right. So these are just red. I just wanted to see how these nails were. To see, you know, how long they last, or whatever, to see if this is a place I'm gonna be ordering from. Usually I get like a lot of different pairs of nail strips, but this time I did not because I told myself I got to stop doing that. Okay, this is a little usage manual that I'll read later. And then I got a Georgia Tech magazine. This is very random. Oh, this is supposed to be to <laughs> Someone else. So this is getting thrown away. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Oof. That was fun. I'm very happy for my Victoria's Secret. I cannot wait for my New York and Company clothes to get here. Yes, I went shopping online, which I haven't done in a minute. Actually, I haven't bought like new clothes in a minute. Kind of, kind of. I No, I've bought some new clothes, but, like, I definitely needed more clothes. In fact, I need, like, a little, like, hoodie type of thing. I have some, but I know they're at my parents' house, and, like, I can't find them. Like, I used to have one from my um, medical school, Ross University, and I don't know what happened to that one. But whatever, if I would have been wearing it up to now, I'm sure it would have like gotten spoiled up to now. So it's cool though, it's cool though. Put away my undies. I'm so excited. I get excited over new underwear. I always like new underwear. Because then that means I don't have to like wash my laundry as often. Because <laughs> like I have more underwear. Hello? Who else waits until they run out of underwear to wash laundry? I'm just kidding. I don't really do that. But if I'm feeling lazy, then yeah, sure. Like, it's good to, you know, wash smaller loads of, of um, laundry, so. Oh, so you shouldn't just wait. Otherwise, then you'll just have all, like, two, three days worth of laundry to be doing, and that's no fun. Anyway. Oh, 
Ooh, my hair is like still like hurts a little bit because it's just a little tight. It's okay. So they did it so tight. And the lady was when she was separating my hair strands, she did it so tight that I was actually crying. Like I actually cried. And I told her, why you not? And then when she would put in a strand, she'd go so tight. But so there were two people working on my hair. The other lady, the second lady, everything she did was basically nice and gentle. And I was just thinking, why don't you be like her? What the heck? So, but it's cool. I survived. And the hair, it took about two hours, four hours. And it's because two people were working on my hair. So, I was very, very, very pleased about that. Four hours is perfect. Yeah. So I got there like 8.15 and left like 12-ish. Anyway, I guess that's all. I have a church event to go to later today. I have to figure out this video editing thing. And I have to get a new camera, new video camera before I go on vacay with my bestie and her husband. My bestie and her husband. Hey, with my bestie and her husband. With my bestie and my husband. Hey. Anyway. I'm trying to think of what else. Like, thing is, I just ate, but like, I'm still kind of hungry. So I should just eat good things. But I think I'm going to eat some cereal bars. I'm going to stop buying those cereal bars. Because if I don't have them, then I won't have an option to eat them. Just don't buy them. Even if I want to, I'm like, I want to buy them. Ooh. Like, it's like, just I just won't. It's easier to say, oh, I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Oh, but I shouldn't. But then I just go to my kitchen and get it. But like, oh, it's like, oh, I want to buy them. I want to buy them. But I shouldn't. It's like, just don't. So... I'm going to just finish up what I got, the cereal bars, and then not buy cereal bars again. And then I still need to find healthy snacks, what snacks are healthy, other than fruit. I mean, fruit is cool. The only thing about fruit is you have to eat it fast, otherwise then it'll spoil. So either way, even if you don't eat it fast, it'll still spoil. So either way, you still have to go to the store each time and get new fruits, which is annoying, like so annoying. But if I think about it though, when I used to eat ice cream, I used to eat a whole, I don't know if it was a gallon, but it was like the big pints. I didn't, it was, I don't think it was a pint. It was like the big one. Not like the Neapolitan size, but like Brewster's. I would eat all of that in two days. And I would buy like, usually like three at a time, three, four at a time. And I would eat one in two days. Max of three days. So it would take me, I guess it would take me nine days to finish them. And then I go back to the store and get some more. I never ran out of ice cream ever. So if I can go to the store like once a week, like every nine days to get ice cream, then I can go to the store once a week to get fruits, period. I should see it that way. Yeah. And I realize it's safer to buy just one thing of grace instead of two things of grace. Because even my one thing of grapes last time, like, it wasn't spoiling, but like, it acted like it wanted to start. So I was like, okay, good thing I only have you in here. What if I had your cousin, the second pack, to finish? Like, fruits just spoil so easy. Oh, I do have fruits though. I have banana. I have oranges and I, then I have that one banana left. Hmm. And then I have lots of chips and I have my cereal bars. This is so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna just finish my cereal bars. My chips. I'm gonna keep getting chips, I think, because like I need that for like work. Like, I can't just starve myself at work. And I just sometimes just need some chips. Or you know what, though? No. Because at work, I can eat, like, grapes and stuff. So, 
The thing is, though, sometimes, like, I don't pack the grades on time, and I just have to go, so the tip's already packed, so it's just grab and go. <sighs> I'll figure out something. I just want to eat more healthy, because that's the way to go. It's not a flex to say, oh, I'm skinny, and I don't eat healthy. Like, that's not a flex, and it's never been a flex, and I thought it, I thought it was a flex my whole life. That's one of the bad behaviors that I was doing, like the silly things that I'm like, okay, cool. People would say, oh yeah, look, yeah, he doesn't eat healthy and she's still skinny. No one cares because it's like, what's inside? How's my inside feeling with that? Not good. I mean, I'm fine, but like over time it can get bad. Like it will get bad if you keep doing that. So that's not a flex. Like people say all the time, oh yeah, I eat healthy. That's why I'm staying fit. Who cares? Like, why do I want to brag that I don't need to eat healthy? Like, honestly, at some point, you're going to have to. So what the heck? It's better to build a good habit early. Anyway, I'm just glad I realize it now. So I'll just have to figure out the whole situation about going to work, rushing, and still needing a snack. At the end of the day, honestly, <laughs> Because I'm thinking, like, what if, like, the cafeteria isn't open? What do I do type of stuff? If the cafeteria isn't open, hmm, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I just figured out something. That's I only so in my in my smaller hospital we have a workroom that only the fellows go to, so I can put like my stuff in there. Like I can put, you know, like backup. Like I can buy like you know like a pack of chips, and then like just have that as like backup for the days I forget to bring my food or whatever. And the cafeteria is closed or something. But then for the bigger hospital, what am I gonna do? We don't have a workroom like that in that hospital. So whatever, I'll figure it out. Even if it means like, I mean, for crying out loud, just like pack your snack the day before so that you can just grab and go in the morning. Like just always pack your snack the day before. Even if it means once you get back from work, just pack for the next lunch day. Like, I think I'll do that. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Hopefully I can upload this video. Toodaloo!